Hi, this is Mark from Showman Construction, and today I'm going to replace uh, this dishwasher. We actually pulled it out already, but I'm going to show you how to put a new one in. This is the old one. We're, we're taking it, we're throwing it away. It's pretty simple. I just disconnected the water, shut the water off, disconnected the water, the drain hose, and unplugged the electric cord. And we're going to pull it out, and I'm going to bring the new one in, hook all those back up, and then stall it. Okay, we got the new dishwasher here and I've laid it over and I'm going to take this front piece here off. This covers the where the electrical hookup and the water hookup is located. I'm going to remove it. I'm going to lay this off to the side, put it back on when we're done. You gotta buy this separate. This is the hookup that needs to be purchased separate when you buy a dishwasher. Put this on the water inlet. Now I can hook my water to this. Normally what you would have to do is buy a dishwasher installation kit that would come with a hose, this little fitting, and what you would need to hook it up. But they had this hose, so all I needed to purchase, aside from that, all I needed to purchase was this, this little conversion elbow right here, converting it from uh, this 7 8 to 3 8 and so now I'm going to take and hook up the, I'm going to take this off and I'm going to hook this, this uh, electrical plug into this unit. I'm going to hook these wires up inside this unit right here. But to do that I've got to take this screw out. Just gonna go ahead and run it in the front here. And I'll pull it off. I'm gonna hook the ground wire to the ground lug. Okay, I'm hooking the ground wire to the ground lug. Run this down. I'm gonna run it down once first just to and then I'll back it back out and then run it down again. It'll be easier to screw in next time. Now I can back it out.
Now I'm screwing it down on the wire this time. All right. And now I'm going to hook these wires up. This cord came off the old dishwasher, so I'm just going to use it. And when we look at these, we've got this wire this wire here, you can see it has these rib, ribs on it, and that is the neutral this is the neutral wire right here and this would be the so I'm going to go ahead and hook the I hooked the load up and now I'm going to hook the neutral up on the other side this was on the ribbed side of the it's just so you don't we don't cross polarity have you know have a crossing the polarity of the electrical. So the neutral gets plugged into the neutral side and the load gets plugged into the load side. We, we put it that way, so the neutral, when we plug this cord in, this white will be on the neutral side of the, of the receptacle over there. And so it won't be have uh, we won't be crossing polarity. Some appliance, some things doesn't matter, but in this case we we don't want to cross the polarity of it. Polarity is where you have your so your the it goes back to the pan the panel the load goes goes back to the panel um, the correct way so the black goes to the breaker and this and the white would go to the to the neutral bar in the panel that's all the polarity is all right now we got everything connected we got our electrical and we got our our water so and we're all ready to push this back into the hole into the uh, back into the uh, hole where it came out of where the old one came out of and do that right now. Do this through here. things back. This is our plug-in. This is our main. Let's stick that in there. And our water supply. I'm going to stick that in this hole right there. And I'll start shoving this back. Well, I'll go ahead and plug this in. Okay, right now I'm hooking the water line back up here to the hot water, and I'm going to Okay, I hooked the water supply into the hot water line right here, and I hooked the the, uh, 
the drain just discharge hose, I put it up into the garbage disposal here. That is, if you have a garbage disposal, this is where it connects. If you don't have a garbage disposal, it, there is a little stub out on the drain. It would connect into that. But we have a garbage disposal, so this is where it's going. I'm going to tighten this up. Tighten up the, where it discharges into the dish garbage disposal. I'm going to tighten up my water supply right here. I'm going to shove the unit back. All right. All right. Now. Okay. Okay, I'm attaching these dishwasher now with these screws. going to be right here. Okay, it's attached. Washers in. Uh, it's it, it actually, although it's not it's not quiet, but it's not bad either. It's kind of like a sound machine, so that it actually can help put you to sleep. So this there there's a little blue stuff on here when it's all done. When, after your installation, this just peels off. Well, we got the dishwasher set in, and we ran it through a cycle, and there are no leaks. So on this particular one, they have little trim pieces that were on either side of the dishwasher to fill this gap. So uh, it's not typical on, a, on an install. This is unusual. So I'm going to shoot these on with my, with my nail gun, and this will be complete, and the job will be done. Anyway, if this video has helped you, uh, please hit the subscribe button. And I'll bring more videos to you as soon as they come up. Thanks for watching.